mine Bad bitches, every city in my tribe uh, look, 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 look behind Booty dominate the world, peaches ripe um, Everyone's saying they can't hear you If you want to just mute your mic and then unmute yourself That might... There you go um, I would say I'm an anybody? intersectional Marxist uh, Chat, can you hear him now? Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, okay. Looks like they can. Hey, great. Um, I would say I'm an inter intersectional Marxist feminist. Okay, for one that doesn't like study that, uh, not being mocking, I just don't know how to find the proper words that I'm trying to convey my thoughts. What Specifically, what does that mean? Um, it means that I look at the different barriers that women face based on different aspects of their identity, which could be um, class, ethnicity, nationality, ability, age, um, so on and so forth. Uh, and then I'm also anti-capitalist. Hey, great. Um, we agree on the anti-capitalism. Um, I think the greed of the world is going to kill the world. Uh, my point, or what I want to debate with you was the, do men really want to protect women? Um, are you allowing the acceptance of wife and children, or is that just a generalization um it's a generalization uh, i i don't know if you've seen there's been uh conversations about a man hitting a, a woman in the face with a brick in public and oh. then no one came to her aid mm -hmm. uh, and then like obviously within uh, feminism there's a lot of discussion around gender roles and so I, I think it's really interesting when men talk that their gender role in society is to protect women. And then when we have these conversations, a lot of men are saying like, no, we weren't obligated to come to her aid. I mean, it, dep it depends on what, what I see. If I see a woman hit the man first and he hits her back, she's getting her equal rights and equal lefts. And I know that's a very cold thing to say, but it's don't hit somebody if you don't want to get hit back. That's a very fair assertion. Uh, but if the dude just all of a sudden just hit her out of nowhere, then absolutely he should go to jail. I don't, I mean, if you said well, it with just coming to her aid. So my premise is, is that men use protection as a societal gender role to kind of cosplay masculinity. Sure. Um, I don't think they actually have a desire to protect women. I think they use it as a means to make uh, women, women submit to them and that they're kind of in the uh, position to be generous where if we don't link arms with a man, then we don't have any kind of protection because I don't really ever see men speak out against male violence because uh, I'm sure you would agree that when we look at violence in the world, that it is predominantly done by men. Well, sure. Yeah, predominantly it's done by men because historically speaking, men are typically the warriors and the hunters and the gatherers. So, I mean, that's that's a given, sure. Well, I, I mean, I disagree with like men were hunters, you know, solely hunters and gatherers. Um, no, 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 I said the hunters. We weren't the gatherers. The females were the gatherers. Uh, that, that's incorrect. That's that that really duty was see. not divided by gender. It was divided based on ability. We'll have to agree to disagree there, I think. It, you, it's not like an agree to disagree on historical fact. That it was based on gender, that females... It was not based on gender. It was based on ability. It, there are many historical not, examples of women being warriors, women being hunters, hunters, men helping out with uh, gathering and child rearing. It's only in this modern patriarchal society that through men's historical lens, they've created that gender role it's not correct i would agree with you right. that when it comes to masculinity that violence has been very much the foundation of it and i don't know why men aren't deconstructing their own aspects of masculinity to realize how it's harming people i guess it would be the same thing as saying feminism is harming people you can't say that you are a feminist or a misogynist and then turn around and say that you are for all people because that doesn't work. You, you are making a bipartisan argument for one or the other when you do that. 
feminism, if we're just going to take it on its most basic definition, is just that there's no uh, legal or social outcomes based on sex or gender. Would That's it, all would it, it is. Would it bother you if I said I was a misogynist? Just theoretically speaking, would it bother you if I said I was a misogynist? Well, I would need you to define misogyny because I would probably disagree with you on your definition. It would bother me if you said you were sexist. If I said that, okay, if I was saying that I was a misogynist equal to but opposite of your feminism, precisely, exactly, equal to but opposite. Well, define misogyny or define misogynist. Wanting equal rights for men, equal standards, is, equal <laughs> perception. How is misogyn misogyny perpetuating equal rights for men? How would it? How is it? it? Misogyny, I mean, how would it would be how I just said. It would be the equal to but opposite of your idea of feminism, right? That is not misogyny. <laughs> and to say but that it, it is is absolutely ridiculous. So you can't, so, so you don't believe that there's opposites, right? That there's only one way, it's not. So you just believe that there's no opposite to what you believe right now. I don't define feminism as the equality of women. I don't view it strictly for women. I That's think men I can be feminists as well. I believe that there was an opposite to your feminism, a complete and polar opposite. If my, if my definition of feminism is equality and no uh, negative outcomes or biases based on sex and gender, then your definition of misogyny would be the opposite of that, would be biases and negative outcomes based on gender. And then there would also, I would have to say, like, better outcomes for men. So, yes, if you are perpetuating that in your worldview, misogyny is a social system to where men have better outcomes, then yes, I, I would have a problem with that. Why would you have a problem with men having better outcomes than what they currently have right now? Not better outcomes in general, but better outcomes than women. Is that what your feminism a means? A system that, that serves men outcome? at the disservice of women. But uh, again, I, 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 what, what is your point here? I'm just trying to understand you before we have this continuous conversation. That's all. I, I'm not what, trying to attack What are you not understand understanding? You. Well, I, As I said right here, the patriarchy harms everyone. That includes men. Sure. Yeah, and I agree with that. I didn't. I didn't right. just, but I also, I think, I think, I think the problem is a lot of too many times in this world, people decide you have to be one or the other kind of thing, and I think that harms everybody. I think feminism harms everybody just as much as I think misogyny harms everybody. I don't think either one. How does feminism harm anybody? How does femi how does misogyny harm anybody? Does it does it ever actually in your lifetime ever physically harm you? Yes. So I would argue that misogyny is when women and girls experience hate. And yes, that is either through uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm verbal really assaults or through violence. My, my so two yes, I'm crawling all over me, and I am having a hard time talking with you. I will have to talk to you some other time. I apologize. Okay. No worries. I take. Bye -bye. I raise my child, my children. So she's, yeah. All right. Thank you. Yep. Bye bye. I'm so fucking cute, bitch.